असल फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज़ मोहम्मद यूनस एंड आई एम उर्दू टेक्निकल डिवेलपर इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड आल्सो क्लिक द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट द अपडेट्स ऑफ द अपकमिंग वीडियोस सो फॉर टुडे और टॉपिक इज हाउ टू जनरेट ए सिक्वेंशल कोड फॉर ए फील्ड फॉर और कस्टम मॉडल वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस हाउ टू जनरेट द कोड डे बेस्ड ऑन द डेट दैट वी एड फॉर दिस मॉडल सो first of all you need to understand what does i mean so for example if we go to a sales module and when i try to create a quotation and let me uh, click the create button okay so when i select a customer and hit save button it will generate a sequence for this sales order so this sequence is generated based on uh, some specific mechanism we can also specify the current year and current month in this sequence so we will all discuss all these things in this video so what we are doing is to generate is to add a new field which will be code for this uh, course and then we will uh, update the sequence for that field based on the current year and whatever year is selected in this date field uh, so let me just add a new field and then come back uh, because you already know how to add a new field so uh, i have added a new field and also upgraded the module so let me refresh the page to see how the new field has been added so here you can see the new field has been added so the default value is new so simply i create i added a new field the label of the field is code copy false what does it mean it is a parameter that is used to uh, disable the copy functionality of a field required means it should be filled in every case default value will be new so whenever we create a new record this uh, code default value will be new okay so this is it so we can also make it uh, read only uh, true so that it cannot be added by the user okay so now now we need to define a sequence for this so for every uh, such sequential codes uh, udo define uh, Udo have a mechanism to uh, assign values based on uh, some structures. So all these sequences are uh, created in sequence model. So you can check it by going into the settings and then technical menu and then sequences. So if you go here, you will see uh, this is the sequence that is generated for the sales order. Uh, or you can see the quotation. This is the prefix. This is the suffix which will uh, appear after the prefix. Uh, the name uh, and this is the code that is used in the uh, program uh, to get the value of this uh, code this is the number of uh, number of generated code uh, number of values of the generated code step is like how may um, how much increment you want to add uh, so this is important thing which is used for a date based uh, sequences in this case uh, like in case of quotation it was false uh, therefore it does not added any uh, year for this uh, sequence okay so, but we will discuss how you can edit so in order to find like to know how this structure looks alike in the XML we will first need to find uh, the external ID uh, so I need to copy it and I will search in the Voodoo default code that how this looks like in the XML so here is the uh, sequence uh, for the sales order we will uh, we will create exactly the same thing in our uh, module so here you can see it is under the directory uh, sales and then data and then IR sequence data so we will exactly do the same in our module which is open academy so here we will create a new, new directory with the name uh, data and then we will add a new file with uh, XML extension IR dot uh, IR underscore sequence you can say like this dot xml okay so inside this xml we need to add the encoding and then we need to add the uru tag and then we need to add data tag with no update is equal to one okay like this and then uh why we added no update because um uh, if we add it in, like no update is equal to one this means that uh we want to like lock this record so it should not be updated when we upgrade this module so let me paste the code and identify it properly like this so here i will change the id which will be like uh, courses 
sequence for courses and here I will replace with uh, courses uh, okay like this sorry uh, and I will replace this with uh, open academy dot course you can add whatever you want but uh, this is what uh, I would like to prefer so here we can we need to define the prefix for this sequence so this is the main thing where you can add uh, the prefix um, so the prefix I want to use for this is a course and then um, forward slash and after the forward slash uh, the code will be generated which will be based on this uh, padding like how many number of values you want to generate like in this case I want to generate five values okay and then I need to uh, add this XML file in the manifest so let me edit at the top it will be like uh, data and then the file name dot xml like this so i need to uh, re restart Odoo service and then i need to upgrade the module uh, to see the new file that we just added okay so after the module upgrade you will see it okay so now let me just go to the sequences and here you can see the sequence has been added uh, with the prefix course underscore so uh, let me just uh, do one thing like we need to go to the py file and here in the py file we need to write a, the code to generate the sequence for this uh, code field so here you need to understand like when you want to generate the code in our case uh, i want to generate the course whenever i click the save button for example if i want to generate a new record when i hit save it should be generated the code so for this purpose the method that is responsible for this creating a record is a create so here i need to define a method which is the udo orm method create and the values i that i need to pass is uh, values list okay sorry and if you don't understand this uh, this uh, the the exact name what you can do is uh, to search this inside the Udo default code to see how it looks like so so that we can uh, avoid the mistakes and we can exactly copy the name of the uh, method so here you can see this is the method uh, that uh, that is available in Udo default so let me just replace it with this one and here um, inside like here at the end I need to use uh, the super uh, to return uh, like the main call so it will call the the main method that is defined in the default module and between this i need to add the code for generating the uh, this sequence so here uh, what i need to do i first need to uh, like get the sequence code sequence uh, code which is um, here let me see what is the sequence code so it is open academy dot course sequence code and then I need to use the sequence code to generate uh, uh, the sequence for this field so we can say like course code uh, is equal to self.env ir dot sequence so ir dot sequence is the model which is where the sequence is defined so I, we need to add uh, we need to call a method which is sequence next by code so what this method does is uh, this generate and return the new code and it will be stored here so we need to pass a parameter here uh, sequence code and the next thing we need to update uh, the values list so one thing you need to keep in mind is that this is a list of uh, dictionaries so here we need to use the for loop uh, to go through each record and then uh, I'll and then update the values so for values in values list like this so here we can say like values uh, we need to update uh, the code like this and like this okay so it should be inside the list like this okay so it is so this is uh, as simple as that i just need to restart Odoo service and it will work okay so let me see okay so let me try to create a new record okay so when i click the new uh let me add the course name which is course uh odo technical course and need to add the responsible 
okay so let me add the date for this one so if i hit save it will assign a new uh, course code to this uh, field so this is how it generates the course code so now i need to discuss an important thing is to add the year just uh, between the course and the sequence so in order to do so uh, let let us just play here with it so here we have this option which is use sequences per uh, range so if i check this you see a new many to one one to many field has been added so in order to do so we have different options to add uh, the sequences uh, like parameters which is like year uh, and y only month day we can add like this so i will just use this option uh, like this uh, and then uh, this will add first the course is a uh, prefix and then the current year and then uh, the sequence that has been generated but one thing that you need to keep in mind is that we want to generate the code not just based on the current year but on the num on the year which is entered here so here if it is entered is 23 it should a 23 so for this purpose um, in uh, like in the previous version it was uh, just working the same like you just add the year but in the uh, Udo 16 you need to add a keyword range range year okay so range is used to uh, to like to pass the date uh, for whatever date you want to generate so let me just uh, practically show you how what does it mean so i will add here um, one more parameter is like first i need to get the date okay so um, course date is equal to values dot get um, which is course date like this and then i need to uh, pass a parameter which is a sequence date and here i will pass course date so this will generate the sequence based on the whatever date is set on the um, course so let me try it and restart Udo service and let me try to create a new record okay so create and new technical course and let me select the responsible and then let me try to add for uh, 23 okay like this and hit save so if i hit save you see it added the sequence based on the previous year but if i select uh, like let me create a new record uh, for the future year for example course one one and like this so if i add uh, for 2025 let me add it like this and save it okay so it generated for 25 25 so now we need to copy it from here okay and we need we need to add this in the examine like for this one and one more parameter that we need to use is like this one we need to add um, use date range okay so here uh, we just need to copy this uh, we need to add use date range and it should be true so if we don't make it true it will not work okay and then if we update the module this value this record will not get updated because we have made it uh, no update one so we will have to delete this one and then we will have to upgrade the module uh, to see the new uh, sequence okay so after the module update you will see it okay so this is uh, just very simple and straightforward if you have any questions you can join our discard group uh, and also if you can ask in the comment please uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and if you are new to the uh, channel please subscribe it and also share with your friends and colleagues so that they know how you how they can create the sequence so this is it for this video thank you for watching